What is up guys, Alex here with a quick video and someone messaged me with a question about the difference between VBR and CBR rendering and um, basically what those mean is uh, there's two main types of uh, bitrate encoding in Sony Vegas, there's VBR which stands for variable bitrate and there's also CBR which stands for constant bitrate. Now before we get into any specifics, uh, if you don't know the definition of what bitrate is, uh, bitrate here is the number of bits that are conveyed or processed per unit of time. So in Sony Vegas, um, when it's rendering, it's encoding a constant stream of data per second of your video. Now with constant bitrate, it's encoding a constant stream of data um, in your video. So let's say you're rendering at 1 megabits um, or 1 megabytes or megabits per second into your video uh, per second. and um, Basically, what it's going to do, it's going to um, encode one megabit of data per second in your video. Now, with variable bitrate, it really varies, hence the name, because um, there's two options that you have in uh, variable bitrate, and those are the maximum bitrate and the um, average bitrate. So, let's go into our video, and I'm going to go ahead and go to File, Render As, and show you the differences um, in constant and variable bitrate. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into my main concepts AVC slash AAC MP4 format which I usually use select a preset and I'm going to customize it. Now in the video tab uh, you're going to see that you have an option to select either the variable bitrate or the constant bitrate. Now um, in some of the presets the number of um, actually the unit that's being used is really different so as you can see uh, in constant bitrate and variable bitrate in the in this preset it's measured by bits per second and if you have um, any trouble you know uh, converting between bit rates you can always use um, this little link I linked down in the description and basically you type in um, how many megabits per second you want or whichever um, unit you're familiar with uh, type in any unit and then convert it and then tell you how many bits per second or kilobits per second it is. So let's say I want uh, 2 megabit per second uh, for my constant bit rate. So I typed in 2 and the translation for the unit is going to be 2 million bits. So I'm going to go ahead and get this and select 2 million and that basically translates to 2 megabits per second. Now variable bit rate on the other hand is uh, quite different because uh, whereas in constant bitrate you have constant stream of data, uh, variable bitrate kind of varies data throughout your uh, video. So let's say you have a video with a you know um, a lot of action scenes, and then there's some scenes that are you know kind of simple. There's like very um, minimal camera movements. Um, this is where you would use variable bitrate because um, variable bitrate uh, Sony Vegas allocates higher amounts of data in different or certain parts of the video where it thinks um, or where it knows that there's going to be a lot of like uh, a lot of uh, you know uh, colors or action uh, scenes that are being used. So basically, what it's doing is it's putting more data into those uh, particular scenes uh, in order to maintain their quality. And then for the average bit rate, it's inputting average amounts of data into um, uh, scenes that don't require a lot of data. So that's that's the best I could put it as. Um, it's really not that hard to know. And um, yeah. So anyways. Uh, if you don't know what um, bit rate to use, um, here's a little trick that I learned, and basically it's never to use a bit rate that's higher than the bit rate of the original video that you're using. Now, if you don't know the original bit rate settings uh, for your video, you can always go ahead and look for the original file for your video. So the file for the video I use is an MVI two six seven five. I'm gonna go ahead and right click on it, go to properties. And then I'm going to go to details, and in the details there's a list of properties and values um, for your video. You have the frame width and height, and of course you have your data and total bit rate. Uh, what you want to use is the total bit rate. So as you can see, it's 47,058 kilobits per second. Uh, again, if I wanted to translate that, I would type it into here: 47,058,000 or 58 kilobits per second. And that basically translates to 47 megabytes 
or megabits per second and 47 million bits per second so that's my um, that's the bit rate that my original video was encoded at so like I said earlier um, if you're having trouble finding out which bit rate or how much bit rate to use um, for your rendering preset don't use a bit rate higher than what's used in your original video because most of the times people associate with a high bit rate meaning that their video is going to be a much higher quality and that always isn't necessarily true and basically you always end up with a video that's um, a video final video that has a bigger file size and a quality that isn't you know too much different from your original video so um, just to give you an example I'm going to use this um, video as my rendering example here so I'm going to go to render as go back to my mp4 presets customize this template so like I said earlier my uh, video was encoded at 47 megabits per second uh, so that translates to 47 million uh, bits per second so for my constant bit rate I would use something around that range um, but you can always go a little higher than your um, original bit rate just not too high to a point where there's going to be a really enormous file size so um, I can either choose 28 or 50 million bits per second. Uh, the thing is with constant bitrate and some options you can't really change um, the values for this. It has a, a certain number of presets for your values. And then for vari variable bitrate, um, the maximum bitrate you would use would of course be the highest um, bitrate that's encoded in your video. Like I said earlier it's 47, uh, 47 million bytes so I'm going to set the maximum value to 47 million and then for average uh, your average probably wants to be around mm, a little bit of a little bit more than half of your um, total bit rate so it'll probably be around 20 22 23 uh, million bits per second I'm just gonna choose 28 and yeah that's the basics of rendering out your video um, a lot of people kind of get a mix up between how much bitrate to use and um, which one to choose constant or variable bitrate um, my tip is to use variable bitrate when you're rendering out really long videos uh, like commentary for an example you know a variable bitrate is a little bit faster not that much faster uh, when rendering out longer videos and then constant bitrate you want to use when you're rendering out short but really high definition videos so that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys liked it. Um, again, if you have any trouble, um, you know, translating between megabits, kilobits, and bits per second, you can always use the website I linked down in the description below. And if you have any questions, feel free to send me a message or post it down in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next time.